on display. It is front and center today in front of a capacity crowd here on the Plains as Auburn opens up their home slate against the Jacksonville State Camp Gamecocks. As you are watching SEC Network Football presented by Allstate. Over 87,000 fans. On the ground in perimeter defense, some things to tighten up The Coach Muschamp will be looking for. A little pooch kick that will go out of bounds, so Auburn will have good field position to start this one. Third member of our team is Don Davenport, and certainly so much talked about him this week. You heard the guys on SEC Nation breaking it down moments ago, and they're trying to get him going early. He swings it out to Ricardo Lewis for a gain of seven. Early, nice play call to open the game. Throw it again on second and three. Lewis to midfield. Spins out of trouble. First down Auburn into Jacksonville State. Spot duty. Peyton Barber may have emerged as maybe the preeminent back in the offense this year. And there he goes. Barber to the 40 and tripped up. Dropped at the 39. Last week, Auburn four out of ten on third down conversions. They're looking at a third and five. Johnson, quick throw. Had a man wide open. Just couldn't connect as Barber was coming out of the back. Last year they had eight games over 600 yards of total O. First pass comes near side. Ruben Gonzalez makes the catch. He's out to the 21-yard line. No second down and five now for the Gamecocks. They'll fake the run. Come near side. Out over the 30 to the 32 is Josh Barge, who had eight catches last week. Version to get the first early. Inside handoff. Trollbane Pope out to the 45 yard line. Put it. On third down and 10. Quick hitter over the middle. That's going to be real close to the first down. I think it'll be good enough by about a half a yard. Rubikins, the junior quarterback out of Birmingham, Alabama. Four man rush. He lofted up near side. Pass is caught again by Gonzalez. Inside the red zone at the third. Here comes some extra pressure by the top Tigers, and it works. Jenkins dropped for a loss of six, and who's the sack? Connor Rulo, six foot two twenty six, and he misses the field goal. Wow, it was three for three. Malzahn wasn't thrilled with the fact that he's going to be familiar. Here's Ricardo Lewis. Well, he had it. Exciting game in the opener, 33-yard touch. Front line anyway, they've got some nice size for their level play. Swing it out of the backfield. Our first look at Carry On Johnson, the true freshman out of Madison, Alabama. You and I were talking after a meeting. Turn ran right through the would-be tackle of Darius Jackson. Here's Lewis. Trying to create on his own. Got a little bit of help from Duke Williams. Pass to Ricardo Lewis. That'll be a gain of... Seven plays, 50 yards to this point. And there's the first down by Barber. Nice defensive tackle. Carry on Johnson back in the game along with Barber. They will go inside handoff to Peyton Barber. He gets it inside the 15, close to the 10. That'll be good enough for another Tiger first down. Sideline. And seemingly to explain what he was thinking, but Duke Williams, I don't know if he was supposed to run a corner or not. Either way, incompletion. We'll try it again. Looking for Duke. No flags. Incomplete on third down. Jalen Hill. 27-yard field goal attempt from Daniel Carson. Hit his only one last week. A 56-yarder. This one from the near hash. Kick is on the way. And it is plenty good. He's out of the West. Looked pretty strong in week one. Well, big question mark surrounding LSU right now. Nobody knows what yeah. to make of them. But they will be tested tonight against Mississippi State. Here's Eli Jenkins. Nice throw to the wide side of the field. Let's see where they spot forward progress. That's Barge again. They will get the conversion. Miles Jones in that running back to the left of Jenkins. Jenkins to throw. Ruben Gonzalez. Boy, he is making a name for himself today here at Jordan here. You see it all. I saw hacky sack on there. <laughs> Second down for the Gamecocks. Miles Jones trying to get to midfield, does so. 
He'll be about five yards shy of the first down marker, but he's an explosive running back. The senior out of Fayetteville, Georgia, should see some work today. Jenkins going up top. Has a man bumped and caught by Josh Barge. Right at the 20-yard line. How about that near sideline? First down and 10, Jacksonville State at the 20-yard line. Jenkins will throw it again. Underneath to the 15, picks up five to Barge. Pretty good job. Three out of four on third down conversions this afternoon. Jenkins going to the corner, pass is caught, incomplete, out of bounds. Gonzalez thought he had the catch. First one from 39. This one, snap is good, hold is good, and the kick is perfect. So Jacksonville State has top trying to get the ball to Duke Williams in the end zone. Johnson 7 out of 10 today throwing the football, making 8 of 11. He hits Ricardo Lewis, breaks a tackle and falls forward with a second effort into Jacksonville last week to congratulate him on that 82-yard fumble return for a touchdown against Louisville. Johnson throws. This time, Melvin Ray holds on. First down, Auburn. Pickup of 10. They needed 7. Changing the plan, did Here comes some pressure. Auburn tried to hit Duke Williams with it. It's incomplete. And on third down and seven, here is Daniel Carson from 49. He made from 56 last week. From the far hash, kick is on the way. Does it sneak in? It does. So the time it up and run support. Four-man rush. Jenkins. Going far side, asking his guy to make a play, and he does. Again, Gonzalez, one-on-one, -on -one, makes a play in Auburn territory. First down, game Cox again. Massive. Only weighs 50 tons. Third down and five. Jenkins rolls right, throws back to Josh Barge. Pass is caught inside the 30, close to the 25. Nice time out there by John Gross to come out and get the third down conversion. Quick hitter inside again to Barge. Barge and Gonzalez, these two guys Jesus, came in as their... For the Gamecocks on the previous drive. Throw into the end zone, hoping his guy can make a play, and he does! Josh Barge with the touchdown grab! <laughs> wow! Barge and Gonzalez out wide. Point after is up and good. And the sixth ranked Auburn Tigers trailing here in the form. And said he just wanted to play ball. It was as simple as that. Transfer to Jacksonville State. Lewis falls forward, has the first down at the 48. Jalen Hill on the Auburn has 145 yards of total offense to 205 for Jack State. That ball is picked off at the 40 yard line. Joel McCandless into Auburn territory, and Jacksonville State is back in business. Knocked down at the line of scrimmage. Devontae Lambert got Rulo will attempt a 50-yard field goal. It was long enough, but missed it wide left. Has done an excellent job of keeping Auburn's offense hemmed up. Throws that one into the second row of the bench. Ricardo Lewis, the intended target. It's in the second half. Third down, let's call it four. Another outstanding catch on the near sideline by Jessica. Nine catches for Josh Barge. Big hit at the 45-yard line, but that grab picks up. Handoff goes to Pope. He'll have enough for the first down at the 41-yard line. Again, a four on the play. Cats it up. down inside five seconds. Lofts it up, far side, and incomplete. Almost a remarkable grab by Gonzalez.
That's not what you anticipate out of this offense production. Johnson throws. It's Lewis at the 30, falls forward to the 32. That'll be a first down. Yeah, get some excitement. Over the middle, pass is caught. Duke Williams finally with a grab. Towards the middle of the field. Johnson going deep down the field. Has Thomas. Touchdown, Auburn. 51 yards. Team, but have been waiting for it. Point after, up and good at Auburn. Quick slam, pass is caught, good enough for a first down. Boy, their timing routes have been really solid today. And 10 for the Gamecocks. That pass is caught by Dalton Screws. He's inside Auburn territory, down to the 46-yard line. Another first down, Tim Irvin on the coverage. Miles Jones, they fake it to him, and Jenkins keeps it. He's got another first down after a 12-yard pickup. And gas with the power read to QB keep. Jenkins going down the middle into double coverage. It is intercepted. Yes, touchback. Auburn will have the football. Jonathan Ford. Yes, we have seen uh, three in a row here. to the 35-yard line goes Ron Thomas. 20. Thomas contributing the most outside of Ricardo Lewis. Peyton Barber. Oh, it looks like one Gamecock defender had a chance to grab him in the back. Linebacker so well. Boy, Duke Williams is popped. Ball comes free. They're going to say incomplete. Boy, Duke Williams... On first down, they will swing it to Barnes. Has a couple of blockers over there, and he'll pick up six yards. Jonathan Jones, fourth official here in the Southeastern Conference. He's the referee back in the day. He's up and moving, and so is Josh Clements. He is up and moving quite well. First down at the 40-yard. Down and five. They'll hand it to Clements. He'll have a first down and on inside Auburn territory at the 47-yard line. McKenzie. Pretty been on the field, 62 snaps in this game with a quarter to play. There's his other target, Ruben Gonzalez makes a diving catch. Had to kind of at 245. They'll fake the speed sweep. Pocket breaks down. Dump it off underneath. Pass caught by Goff again. He has the first down. He was left wide open and picks up 13 yards downside the 10-yard line. They got to get it inside the two. Comes near side. Barge can't break the tackle. Jonathan Ford. 26-yarder near hash. Splits the uprights. And we are tied at 13. The Eagle swarms around Jordan Hare Stadium. Got any Gamecocks in that exhibit? I didn't see any. No. Here goes Jonathan Ford to the 40, to the 45 yard line. An outstanding field position now for the Tigers. After Four man rush over the middle. It's picked off. Dawson Wells, the senior, steps in front of the football at Jacksonville State. Hat. And where Auburn typically exploits defenses on some of these inside patterns in the middle of their second goal, they're hurting themselves. Another big run from Troy Bain Pope, the senior out of Aniston. Out. Jenkins, little comeback route. Pass is caught around the, around the 35-yard line, but that's going to be a couple of yards shy of the first. He'll keep it, falls forward, does he have enough? I think he does. This is going to be really close. Play fake to Pope over the middle, pass caught by Josh Barge. He falls to the 25-yard line. 
Barge now with another catch. The ability to run the football, convert a big fourth down on the ground. Jenkins keeps it, scoots around the corner, gets to the 15. Pope got swallowed up in the back. He gives up about 10 pounds to Casanova McKenzie. On second down, Jenkins will keep it again. He gets it close to the 11. That'll be a yard shy of the line to make. Here's Ash. Eli Jenkins hasn't flinched in the face of it. Third and short. Here goes Pope down to the five-yard line. It is troll of the line of scrimmage. Here's Pope, scoots it to the outside. He will walk it in. Touchdown. Gamecocks. They have the lead in the fourth quarter. Look at John Cross. You think he's having fun? You know, this team came out, they played loose all game. The offense for Jacksonville State today. Lanarulo with the point after. It is up and good. Big hole off the left side for Barber. He's to the 45, out to the 47-yard line. A 21-yard pickup, Brandon Bender. Probably the best one we've seen all game. Another good one by Barber. He's to the outside, down to the 32-yard line. From a read standpoint, he's going to the sideline. Here's Barber to the 20, stood up there and dropped. That is good enough. Now Barber eclipsing the 100-yard mark. Now Rock Thomas in there to spell him. Rock, he's hit at the 15. Loses the football. Jacksonville State says they have it. Let's wait a minute. Oh, boy. Cameron Petway got up. Looked like he was disappointed. Wow. Rock Thomas comes in for Peyton Barber. He's fresh. He's made a couple of big plays as a receiver, but as a as Eli Jenkins makes the adjustments at the line. Here's the handoff. That will be well shy of the first down. They needed to get out to the 17-yard line. To tie it or potentially take the lead. Johnson. Hits his... And off to Barber. He has room to the 20. Spins off one defender inside the 15 down to the 13 yard line. First half, that time Ricardo Lewis. Johnson to the end zone. Up high. Touchdown, Melvin Ray. Great catch. For the tie, Daniel Carlson. It, well, they're just going to take a knee. They're going to play for OT. Well, it's been a battle all game long. You know, Auburn. Short huddle and the quick turn on first down and 10 from the 25. And here we go. They'll give it to the freshman, Kieran Johnson. He's to the 15 yard line. That'll be close to the first down. Maybe just a. Do you go for it on fourth and just try to pick up yards? They'll swing it to Barber. He's got some room. Cuts it back. Still on his feet. Inside the five. First and goal, Auburn. Oh, what a big time catch. Here's Barber. Touchdown, Auburn. Running behind the left side of Auburn's on the ground. Carlson's point after is up and good. And <laughs> Jenkins passes incomplete. Oh, a little bit more to the inside, and that may have been a touchdown. Going up top. Flag is thrown. Pass was intended for Barge, who was slow. Pass interference, defense. 
Number 18, to 15 yard penalty, automatic first down. Well, obviously, you've got two snaps to get it into the end zone. Jenkins, flush, scrambling. A lot of room to the near side. He's dropped back at the 20. Wow. Casanova McKenzie with a game of his career. Incomplete. That is your ball game. 